Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. So yeah, we've managed to get away um, last weekend. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a tour of the park that we visited. It was one of the Haven sites. It was a little sea down in Weymouth. Um, didn't get a chance to do any filming of what we actually got up to, but I did get time just to nip out and do a bit of a tour of the park itself. Um, certainly about um, the location of the touring area, some of the facilities on site. Um, so hopefully, yeah, if, if you're thinking about going to this site, this will give you a bit of an idea of what to expect. So when you first come into the park, this will be the main road that you'll be on. It leads all the way up to the touring area. So yeah, just follow it down and through. There is quite a few speed bumps. So um, yeah, take it easy, certainly if you're coming um, during the evening, because yeah, it will bounce you around a bit. So on the left hand side here, what we're coming up to is, is the actual main entertainment area. This is where um, you're going to have things like the, the uh, restaurant, the arcade, um, the swimming pool, anything along those lines will be in this main complex here. You do have a Papa John's on site, which could be handy if you're wanting to get takeaway. Here on the corner is the local shop. And again, it's quite reasonable priced and, and has most items in there. On the other side of this wall is your uh, terrace area for the bar. Um, then this railing here on the other side is your crazy golf. Quite a, a, a good course to be fair, not run down, well maintained. So again, it's worthwhile having a, a look at that. Then it moves on to an outdoor uh, football pitch which I'll show you a bit later on, but again, that's of uh, quite a good size. And then the last bit on the, in this corner is like a four by four track where you can hire extra activities, which is okay for the younger children. Uh, and then obviously you've just got your grass area here where you, again, that's not any um, pitches or tools. So again, it, you can use that for football or anything along, along those ball games. And this is now taking you up to the final stretch. So this is quite narrow. So you won't get two caravans or motorhomes up here at any given time. So yeah, just see what's coming down before you go on up. So this is the start of the touring area. Um, I wouldn't say it's a massive site, um, but it does cater for motorhomes and caravans. Um, the majority obviously being um, grass pitches. Um, there is a few uh, hard standing but not many so yeah you probably would have to book these up in advance but again I'll leave a, 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 the map uh, of this touring site in the description below just so you can get to have a look. Um, you've got this uh, lay by section here on the left hand side um, so yeah, when you're turning up obviously you can pull into that um, and meet the touring team obviously they'll be able to tell you exactly what pitches that you're on. Um, and on the the touring details are actually on the park map in terms of if they're not about you can give them a call um, but again they're very welcoming welcoming when we were uh, visiting and here is your shower facilities and toilet um, area it has a, a sink um, and wash up area in the middle um, of this block here um, but yeah very clean and tidy didn't have any issues with this whatsoever and then this small park again is aimed at younger children um, but there, there is a main park down the bottom of the hill in the main complex but again it, it's useful enough to keep the younger children occupied while you're trying to set up. So this was our setup this weekend. Um, there was quite a lot of rain um, and strong winds so decided yeah not to bother with the awning this time round but um yeah nice nice view location so um yeah this was our basic setup for the weekend so in terms of grass areas there's quite a few um areas you can um certainly have a little wander this was literally right behind our caravan so yeah quite nice views out over the water 
again, it's, it's a popular spot for dog walking um, in the mornings and afternoons. So yeah, there's there's certainly plenty of space, and again, big enough to um, play football, sort of badminton, that kind of thing. Um, but again, there's lots of these kind of spaces all, all dotted around the park. But um, certainly, this is at the top end with a touring section. Um, so yeah, if if you like, say, fancy going for a walk or or that kind of thing. You can start here and then follow all around the sort of Bay Area out to that further point and then round. So, um, yeah, you can go for a good old uh, walk for a good few miles if that's the kind of thing that you, uh, you enjoy doing with the family. So you can follow that grass area all the way down, um, back down the bottom of the hill, so you don't have to actually take the path or the road. So again, there is um, a, a safer way to go. And then, yeah, this is back to where, like you say, you can have a picnic, play ball games, etc. It's not used for anything else. So this is just an overview of the crazy golf, the football pitch and the 4x4 track. So this is just the, the shop on site, like I said, in, in the beginning on the way in. So, um, yeah, like I say, it seems to have most things in there, quite reasonably priced. Um, so, yeah, all your sort of essentials. So this is going back into the main reception area and entrance to the complex. Um, it does have a, an on-site chip shop does get quite busy but again the, the food isn't too expensive and, and yeah actually is edible so yeah worth a look obviously this is the main reception so if you've got any problems obviously you can come here in terms of um, any other information if the touring office is shut And then it's obviously just taking you down to the arcade, the restaurant, the swimming pool, and the actual main sort of um, entertainment area. So this gives you an idea of the arcade space. Like you say, it shows, uh, it shows you the show bar on the left-hand side, the swimming pool down the stairs. Um, and then there's also an entrance to the outside where you can get to the crazy golf, um, the park, uh, and the bar area. So this gives you the idea of the swimming pool. Obviously this is for lane swimming um, or uh, kids' uh, activities if they're purchased extra. And then obviously you've got the main pool over the far side. So this is the main show bar. It's uh, quite a good size. It does get busy, but again, it will depend on the time of the in the season that you're coming. Uh, there is an app you can download and get table service, which is really quick and useful. So this is now outside the far doors of the swimming area, and this is where the owner's lounge is. In terms of if you've got lodges, um, this area can be set up into different um, areas at times. Obviously, you've got we've got the climbing wall in there. Um, sometimes this is a football pitch as well. Um, but again, it just depends on what time of the year you come, where they what they have set up. If you've um, booked up archery, again, this is where this is located. You'll come out those doors, and it's just down here on the left in that green tent. Um, and again, I think there'll be a few activities set up in there. But in the guide, it will tell you where to go. And there's one of the 4x4 trucks that you can hire. So we were a little bit early in the season, but obviously this is the outdoor pool and um, lounge area. They're just redoing the decking at the moment. But um, yeah, we've been here before and they're real nice area just to chill out. You can see the park down the far corner. Um, and this was the crazy golf I was telling you about. But yeah, like I say, it's, it, the upkeep is, is really good. Uh, and, and kill a good hour or two, depending on how busy it is. But um, yeah, no, worth a, a visit. And finally, this is sort of your bar area, terrace um, area, just to, yeah, as long as you've got nice weather, just to chill out and have a beer.
So hopefully this quick tour of the park has given you an idea of what to expect if you're thinking of heading to this location. Um, something to consider would be just the, the time of the year. Obviously last week was quite um, bad for the, the amount of rain that we had. So when we got there, the pictures were quite damp and, and under some sort of thick mud in places. So it's definitely worth sort of um, checking in with the touring uh, office just to see uh, what the state of the pictures are. Uh, because that might put you off. Um, we weren't able to put our awning up, but again, that wasn't really a problem because we were out of most of the time. But um, yeah, between the sort of the water and the wind, that sort of put paved to that sort of idea of putting that up. So yeah, it's definitely worth um, having a chat with the touring office before coming. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully, like I say, this gave you a good idea of what to expect. If you've got any questions regarding the site, again, we've been a couple of times here now. So yeah, drop them in the comments below. I'm sure I'll be able to answer those for you. Um, and if not, um, I will uh, leave it there. And uh, yeah, as always, if you like the video, if you can give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing, that'd be great. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers all.